You ask me, is it too late? I'm gonna go and say that it is in a lot of respects. Um, because you can't, sometimes just missing your plane, uh, your flight, you was late to your flight, you were late to um, catch your bus or what have you, you just fucking late. You late to a meeting, they won't let you in. So that's just the, that's just the, the gist of all of that, is that you're just fucking late. And sometimes you have to fall down to to really rebuild yourself. And as black people, as a group, we've been down for so damn long, man. Um, you know, we have lost our way completely, man. We we fighting for dumb shit. We talking about Black Lives Matter, but you including the homosexual agenda. You including. And I've been hearing words about the pedophilia shit, so I'm not 100% sure on that. But I already knew that was coming down the road. That's, that wouldn't be surprising at all. But um, I'm not really shocked by that at all. So we're we, we dealing with that aspect of it. Uh, you're dealing with the feminist aspect of it. And all of this was built on the backs of black men. So to sit here and watch all that shit unfold like that is um, it's really interesting man it's really interesting to see how the dynamic of that is going because the whole thing is everybody's jockeying in society that's basically finished people haven't realized it yet but this society is done I mean it's, it's uh, the way we know it is finished the way we operate is finished you know uh, you better really get constructive because what's remaining of your jobs, the unemployment and shit, it's going to be cut out. It's just a lot of shit that's going to be done, man. Um, so, you know, I wish some of you guys the best, you know, and it's unfortunate in these trying times that you still lost and all over the damn place. But, you know, Hey, it is what it is. You've been warned. You have many people that have told you. That's just the gist of it all. But the topic for tonight, I had to just kind of do a little, little rundown of just some of the things I've been seeing, you know. But but the topic for tonight, really, you know, I'm not going to be on here too long, but is why black women don't grow. And really... It goes back to them, ha them as a group, black women as a group. You see how many fight videos I have to see of them kicking each other's ass. You know, um, they don't want to listen, man. They don't. They are, and I see the videos. Only thing they are left with now. Uh, human dildos. Um, they are left with human dildos. They don't have men. Okay. Uh, they claim they have a man, but they don't have real men. I can tell how they talk and the way they function, how they function. Um, so they don't even know, like I said, what a real man is. You know, and like I talked about before, she's the receiving principal. So if she's not getting proper light and fulfillment through her man of, of enlightening her and filling her vessel with whom he is as a man. I ain't talking about Pookie and Ray Ray. I'm talking about as a man and her refusal to grow with a man she's actually stuck. Okay, she's actually stuck. She's not evolving at all. Okay, so she is completely, what they call, um, in a reprobate mind. There's no evolution to her at all. And you see it through things that they have interest in. Um, you see it in the, in the men that they choose. 
it's a repetitive cycle because she doesn't take accountability for the things that she's doing and don't want to do. That's why I always say most women are just fucking average, man. Um, that's part of them being average because they didn't choose men. You know, um, they choose to pick boys, which is why I always say they, they love the athlete and the entertainer and the rapper, because that's really her level. That's really her level of man, right there. You know, he's there to entertain her. You understand what I'm saying? So, then she complains about men ain't shit. You know, um, but this is why I teach men, you, you judge a woman by the dudes that she, that she attract. Judge her by that. Because they're not gonna they're not gonna choose a man like myself because everything that I represent is opposed opposing to her programming of masculinity. And you represent when you fully your masculine self, you represent the opposition of society where she gets her trinkets, her validation through, the likes on social media, her message inbox, her OnlyFans page. You represent opposition to all of the fandom in her life. You understand? Your whole, your complete masculine self as a black man in this society that everybody fucking hates you, but admires you at the same time, which is fucking bizarre. That's why they say it, uh, love and hate, you know, it's a thin line between love and hate. Um, but we definitely have that in society. It's a thin line between love and hate. But you have a whole society that that will all pile up on you and gain benefits off you, which is the child support system, which is the welfare system, which is the government system, where they all work. Every, Lord Jesus, how many black women work in the damn government system is unbelievable. Department of Motor Vehicles, downtown DC, and, and all these places. But see, what she not realizing is that White daddy is done. He's broke. This country is broke because they didn't pour into their people. And I talked about this before, but I'm saying it from a perspective that black women need to understand. She let her king go. That's why I put that post early. That was on my heart. The black woman let her king go. Like, the, like in the game of chess. Anybody play chess? Most black people don't play no damn chess. But she allowed her king to get away and in any society when you allow your kings and your leadership or your men to fall and you don't build them up you fucking lose the game but we didn't nurture our boys in society I'm out here and I speak I speak so hard on it and so harshly on it because I'm out here in this rich area and all I see is Asians, Arabs, um, and Jews, Jewish people. And they just pour into their, to their boys. I see it all the time. The women allow their young boys to kind of have a freedom of expression and freedom to, to, to uh, express themselves as a young boy, not saying, boy, get your ass over there, God damn it hitting them upside the head. Now, when I see the black people come in the malls and stuff like that around here, they smacking their little boys in the head. I mean, just demasculating them, man. That shit is some sad shit to see, contrary to what I'm seeing every day as a whole with other groups. It's fucked up, man. So, 
your vibration as a man represents total opposition to her her whole belief so it's already gonna be friction when you guys um, meet it's gonna be total friction and This is why you have to stand on your fucking square and then have to develop principles, man, because if you don't have them, you have nothing to impart into her, which is why she can't fucking grow. But she refuses to grow because when you challenge her, you're challenging her mind to grow. That's what the challenge is. That's why she gets frustrated. You're supposed to challenge her to be a better woman. If you're a man and you're dealing with a woman, her whole programming is society. So your opposition as a man, you don't you don't move the way society moves, especially if you're a black man, you do not. So you're supposed to challenge her whole thought process. But in this society, she's, she's coddled, she's a baby. That's why she has no evolution. In fact, She's stuck in a state of pur purgatory again. I mean, we talked about it before, but if you really want to think about it, her evolution is is, is limited. She's she's not she's stuck there, man. Which is why her that's why she always frustrated. That's why she has the same talking points. We just we the we the most women that's unprotected. Uh, we you bash us. You hate black women. You all of these things. We, we have to be independent, but you lead in divorces again. You lead in divorce rates, but you're the least getting married. So she really want to stop her evolution, and in her mind, in her childlike mind, she wants to, she thinks she can go tackle a man that's rich and and, and, and I think part of it too, because they see dummies like Will Smith and um, and some of these rich fools like Russell Wilson taking damaged goods. Um, but largely, most black men are evolving, man. They're not going for that shit no more. And I'm proud to see that. And that's the problem that she's going to run into because all her alphas her God alphas in her community have really left. Especially after they seen what Will has gone through, what Dr. Dre has gone through, um, uh, countless other brothers that a men of means gone through. They're looking at that. So your new millionaires and your new billionaires of black men are not gonna be fucking around with that. We don't care how many degrees you got. Are you submissive? Do you uh, listen? Are you gonna be able to acquiesce to my program? Otherwise, she gonna stay, she gonna keep doing the same shit over and over again. How many times, being in the hair industry, doing hair for almost 30 years, man, and I've seen the same fucking cycle over and over again. I've seen the same cycle over and over again. And they don't like me talking about it. No, they don't want me talking about these things. Of course not. But they're gonna have to hear some hard truth because it's about to get real hard on them in the next few months. In the coming years, you're gonna see, like I said before, you're gonna see a whole lot of women that's homeless, man. You can tell how when you say things and you give them a real reality, they still stuck in a delusion of they think they could just get a man. A lot of women say, yo, I know men that's about their business. I know this. I know that. But I don't know what that means. You know them meaning what? Because they want to sleep with you? You may be fine. You may have a pretty face, fat booty. Nice breasts, 
You know, they they hit it. I mean, that's I mean, I don't know what that means when women tell me that. Oh, I know these guys. That doesn't mean shit. Is he gonna pour into you resources to be so you could be a better woman? Can you go handle business accounts for him? Can you do those things? And can he teach you how to do that? And will you be receptive and not have contentment toward him? See, it's all bullshit that they're running, which is why I like doing these videos because I do it for the brothers that need this game. So I'm gonna keep doing it. So whether, <laughs> I like the fact that they may not watch it while I'm live, which they don't do. That's the cool thing about it. But they watch it when I finish. So they wanna see what I'm saying. So, see this is what I'm saying. You got a forerunner in the black community like me that's helping young men and women be their best selves and pushing them to be their best selves People are not going to fucking like you, man. I know y'all saw that documentary, even though I hate talking about sports, but the one with Michael Jordan, how they said he got on people's fucking nerves, but he pushed them to to be their best. And he talked shit. And that's on a sports level. Can you imagine on a competitive society level where this black man, he had to compete every fucking day? And you say how the fuck you feel and you win? Your teammate, which is supposed to be your teammate, is your supporting cast, is your female. She's supposed to be the cheerleader on the team. But she can't do it because she's busy trying to compete with you. And she can't compete with a man of real high, would you say, value and put in the fucking work in hours. Because that's not her fucking role. She gonna try. But she's not built like that, and societies keep pushing that. And that shit is not gonna sustain because they don't have enough funds to back the bullshit. Because you need real tangible shit right now. You need functionality. And your feelings is not gonna get it done. Where well, I feel like I should, where well, I feel that shit ain't gonna work. God damn it. Can you get this done? Where's the evidence? Because your vacation trips and all that shit is not, that's not included in your handbags. When I walk over to this goddamn mall, all I see is women with these damn handbags in line. But you're not putting the money into your boys, into your community, since you're leading it. So black men, I'm saying now men, not males, the men of the community, most of them have already checked out. I'm just keeping it 100. But the black men that remain, y'all need to understand that your woman, any black woman that you deal with, you have to come in the door as a black man with your principles, Okay, your outline of how you run your business, the business of you. And you gotta have a plan, a business plan in line for that, the business of you. Where the fuck are you going? Cause that's gonna separate the men from the boys and the men from the girls. You understand that? So start looking at yourself, men, as owners of yourself, having more discipline. And in your very presence, she's gonna get uncomfortable. If she's serious about her femininity, Y'all be a perfect match. If you're the 100% masculine principle, she's 100% feminine, there's not gonna be no friction in that level like that. That's, that should be a match. She should be hyper attracted to you. But most of our women are not hyper attracted to masculine men. She's turned off by them. Which is where the friction comes in.
She's constantly competing with you. She want to do it her way. So, you can't have that. And we heard that we got many people on YouTube that say, you know, oh, shit, my bad. Um, many people on YouTube. Shit. Yeah, many people on YouTube that say, um, you know, we have countless videos about this stuff. But the, the problem is, most of these brothers, man, they got to have a call to action and be better biz men, business of, of themselves. Start getting in your purpose. Because that's just going to separate the bullshit, man. So, you know, she's not evolving because she's not in compliance to a man. She's not submitting to a man. She wants to stay the child that she is. Those relationships she's in ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. Men, trust and believe, they ain't going nowhere. That's why she's talking about entanglements and all this bullshit. Because that's all she has. She doesn't have a man. She doesn't have a husband. So she belongs to the streets. So men don't be upset about that. See, women come to me. They come to me. They coming to be better women, man. The rest of that bullshit don't mean nothing. I'm not impressed with her. Like my man Pimp God said, her white Mercedes, her degrees, her house with a fucking mortgage. Um, I'm not impressed with that. So... It's weirdo. You know, I'm just saying, brothers, man, just really, really start getting into whom you are, man. It's really about the men having setting uh, rules, principles, your whom you are. What's it like being in your company? What do you represent? What's your philosophy on life? Do you have one? Most men don't have a philosophy on life. None. They just living, getting some pussy, getting drunk, high. And that's really what she wants because she's not evolving at all, man. Most women around 35, 40 are still children, perpetual children. They may be offended, but it's just the damn truth. So, you know, what you do, man, in your life trumps all the bullshit. Get some wins under your belt. Be an example to the younger men out here or what to be. Let them see work, let them see activity, let them see that and what it takes. Let them see you give your woman instruction. Let your son see that. 
Most women are married to big grown ass boys. Them dudes and gave up on their dreams and goals. That's why she can't evolve. She can't evolve. Your life is supposed to be her university, man. She's supposed to be learning more and more about you. Don't give her too much. But she's supposed to be learning enough to get jobs done for you. You always keep a woman in the rears of because if she learned too much, she'll try to use things against you. I can talk about that firsthand. That's another show. But Yeah, man, so I'm about to get ready to get up out of here. I wanted to drop, I didn't want it to be too long, but I wanted to drop this vid, um, you know, for my YouTube family, maybe. My Facebook family be hating, but um, they get over it. But they can't do what I do. So, um, you know, that's the gist on that. And I appreciate y'all donations, man. Um, I appreciate that too. Uh, so I, I talk to you guys on another one and um, peace I'm out